Hi, this is Ray from SoyaChinchow.com and welcome back to another episode of Ichimi where we bring you the latest tech news that mattered today in case you missed it. So Muhammad Jasme asked if the Mi 9 will be available in Malaysia. So the Mi 9 will launch in China on the 20th of February 2019. But unfortunately, we do not have any details on when this device will be available in Malaysia. But stay tuned. The Soya Chinchow team is currently in San Francisco for the global launch of the Samsung Galaxy S10, which will take place on the 20th of February 2019. But just as they arrive, Amin and the team has spotted a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus in the wild and it confirms le the leaked information that we've seen so far. It confirms that the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus will have two front-facing cameras inside a punch hole display. And from Amin's observations, the purported 6.4-inch display is confirmed as well. He confirms that the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus will indeed feature a triple camera setup as indicated in the earlier speculations. Everything about the Galaxy S10 will be revealed at their Unpack event on the 21st of February 2019, 3am Malaysian time. So YTL Communication has kicked off its trial launch of Telegraph in Penang. This is a new wireless technology developed by Facebook and is capable of delivering gigabit speed in urban areas. And Alex is in Penang with the details. Thanks Ray. So YT Communications, the guys behind ES4G, has kicked off Asia's first large-scale trial of Telegraph. Telegraph is a new wireless technology that's developed by Facebook, so that promises to deliver gigabit speeds that's faster and cheaper to deploy compared to fiber broadband. So you must be wondering, why did they pick Joshan Penang as a pilot location? Well, Joshan has a lot of legacy infrastructure and it also has the UNESCO World Heritage Site status. So that makes it very complicated to lay out fiber broadband. And with Telegraph, it's possible to deliver fiber broadband-like speeds with minimal disruption to the city. So Telegraph uses a 60 gigahertz unlicensed spectrum. So it uses a couple of nodes that's deployed on street furniture. So this can include your street lamps, your traffic lights, uh, even uh, signages or even buildings. So in a nutshell, it's kind of like a mesh Wi-Fi network, but it's deployed at a larger scale. So during the launch, they conduct a speed test for Telegraph and it can do 1.3 gigabits per second for downloads and 1.7 gigabits per second for uploads. In terms of coverage, they're covering Zone 1 of Georgetown. So at the moment, they have about 20 over poles with these uh, Telegraph nodes on the, on the street lamps and they aim to increase this figure to about 60 over poles before the trial kickstarts on 1st of March 2019. So this trial is going to be running for 6 months beginning 1st March 2019. Wattier Communications is going to do two things. First, they're going to provide public with free Wi-Fi access to this high-speed internet connectivity. And for those who are residing in these coverage areas, uh, you can get a fixed uh, wireless access for free for six months. Wattier Communications has not revealed its commercial plans and I expect to hear more details of the trials on the 1st of March 2019. And back to the studio. Thanks, Alex. Moving on. So Xiaomi continues to drop more details for its upcoming Mi 9 flagship smartphone. After showing off its glass back design and its triple camera setup, Xiaomi has finally revealed the front of the device. According to Xiaomi, the Mi 9 will use Samsung's AMOLED display that has a tiny notch that fits the selfie camera. While they did not reveal the size of the smartphone screen, the Mi 9 will still push a full HD plus resolution with a screen to body ratio of 90.7%. The Mi 9 will be announced in China on the 20th of February 2019 and it will make its debut in Barcelona on the 24th of February 2019. TuneTalk is offering free data up to 12 months when you switch to their new value prepaid plan. And if you port in for another telco, you'll be getting a free 36 gigs of data for free. This free data promotion is available for new TuneTalk value prepaid pack subscribers and make sure you top up a minimum of 30 ringgit within the first 7 days of activation. And if you are switching from your existing mobile number to TuneTalk, you'll be getting 3 gigs of free data for 12 months. That's all from me. If you want to learn more of what I've said just now, the links are in the description. So what do you think of Ichimi? We would like to hear from you, so leave a comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell icon so that we be informed whenever we post a new video. So do check out our latest video here. And also last Ichimi here. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!